Thank you very much for checking out the Men in Nutrition video series. We're going to release all the individual snippets in piecemeal fashion. Today we're going to feature Michael Booth. Let's show some love to the individual by liking, commenting, sharing, and connecting via social media with each individual. I'm also on the platform Buy Me A Coffee. This is a platform that allows creators like myself to create content and get rewarded in a variety of payments. I've decided to do it via coffee. So if you'd like to buy me a coffee, you can do so. And if you want to send one to the uh, individual I'm interviewing, send it to me and I will send it their way. With that being said, thank you very much for being here with us today. I hope you really enjoyed the video and have a wonderful rest of your day. So I got into nutrition in a, in a roundabout way. Originally was a pre-pharmacy student, had interest in you know being a pharmacist and was on a biology track, but I just wasn't in love with the material. I wasn't feeling connected to what we were learning um, and I wasn't necessarily dead set on pharmacy. And so they say your passion is what you think about most often in your free time. And I spent most of my teenage life overweight and trying to figure out how I can eat better and how I can do better for myself. Ultimately, I worked at McDonald's my last year in high school and gained a lot of weight, then got to college and gained not the freshman 15, but the freshman 25. And so it was just a really wake up call for me when I started to really think about like how I could be better in terms of my eating and how I could be more active and how I could take, care of, take better care of my health. And it just so happened at the time, you know, I was trying to figure out, you know, what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. My best friend was taking a nutrition course and he told me to sign up. And so I did. And I, I loved it. I never looked back. It just so happened that my school also had a coordinated dietetics program. I literally sat down with the counselor and we kind of fleshed everything out and what, you know, my trajectory would look like in terms of finishing uh, doing the internship and getting everything settled and sitting for the RD exam. And, before I knew it, I had graduated, I was an RD, and I was practicing. So it was a pretty interesting journey, but I, I will say more than anything, I think what got me to dietetics was realizing that I had a passion for nutrition, I had a passion for eating and for teaching people how to eat. So currently, I am a, uh, I'm a registered dietitian. Um, I practiced clinically for two years as a clinical dietitian, primarily in the ICU, and also did some floor coverage. Um, and then I decided, you know, I wanted to go back to school and, and gain some more knowledge. I realized that I had a passion for nutrition. Um, I love nutrition support. I uh, am a certified nutrition support clinician. Um, but I kind of really, in the early part of my career as a dietitian, I realized that I, I had a passion for medicine as well. So ultimately, I went back to school and got a degree as a uh, acute care nurse practitioner. Uh, so I have a master's of science in nursing for that and currently am a practicing critical care nurse practitioner here in the D.C. Baltimore area. Um, but still definitely use my RD uh, experience on the job every day, dealing with two feedings, patients with TPN, um, kind of just kind of tying the best of both worlds. You get to combine two of your passions at the same time. So it's a really exciting and I, I definitely love what I do. Men in the field of dietetics, such a rare, rare finding but such an important one at the same time. I think when we think about the populations that we serve out in the community, um, they're diverse. They're diverse in culture and ethnicity and in gender. Um, and, and we need to, as a profession, we need to be able to reflect those differences and, and um, also be, um, I like to think that if I can't reflect the population that I'm serving, I am, I'm doing the population a disservice because when you find somebody, whether it's a healthcare provider or someone who you're, you know, getting health information from or nutrition advice, I think that it's hard to, you know, relate in some ways when you don't necessarily have a, a commonality. Um, but when you find somebody that you can relate to and has the sh similar lived experiences, you feel a little more comfortable with being in their presence. You feel a little more comfortable accepting information from them. And so I feel like it's so important and essential for us to continue to be the faces uh, in nutrition and also to um, make sure that we reach out to prospective, uh, pr prospective students and let them know that men in nutrition is, is normal. Men in nutrition is, is valuable and it can be such a fulfilling and amazing career. My tip for 
men who want to take better charge of their health is to just literally go get checked out. Um, you know, it's it's such a hard <laughs> hard thing for us as men to go get get seen by our you know primary care provider, or if you if you can uh, get to a clinic. But it's just so important to kind of just get a baseline of how your health is. Um, and then when you, you, know, you get that information, it's, it's not scary. It's not meant to scare you, um, you know, but the sooner you get kind of in control of your health and have more information about what's going on with your body, the more it empowers you to take charge of, you know, what you can change and, and what you can do differently to have a different outcome over the long term. Um, I personally have high blood pressure um, and it is so important for me to go get checked out and go get seen by a uh, primary care uh, provider because if I don't manage my blood pressure, essentially I can end up having long-term complications that essentially will be deleterious to my health. So it's not a, um, it's not a bad thing to go get, go get seen by your provider, your healthcare provider. It's an empower, empowering experience that can essentially transform how the rest of your life will look. Um, so I wanna encourage you to get you know, routine checkups. I wanna encourage you to get routine uh, dental, dental checkups and vision checkups because this is, the, uh, this is the start to preventative care. If there's something that they see, if there's something that you know, is something that is going awry or something that's not looking great, you have the time to curtail that situation and kind of have a better outcome. But uh, I think I think it it just it comes down to you know check on yourself um, and and nothing more, nothing less. Just get checked out and see what's going on with your health, and it really allows you to take charge of of where you can end up.